And I feel like a, a um a VIP person, but this is this is the new little little microphone. Um, it's got a USB or sorry USB C plug in on the side. It's rechargeable. It's got this you know ugly looking little clip on there. And then I can sing into the microphone like this and feel like I am a very important person, almost a news reporter quality, but it's actually not. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just, you know, but if, if I may end up going with this style right here and then I'll be like, I'll just call up Britney Spears and be like, look, I just, I feel like I've got a, a better microphone. You know, the quality is just, it's just as good as yours for like 20 bucks. You know, I feel like a big shot. Uh, so I'm trying to add hub oil. Here's the side glass. There's the add line, and then right above that's the full line, and we are low, so we're going to take an Allen wrench here and get that um, little bolt right there, stick that in there, and I'm going to turn it. Uh, I'm going to get my socket set here. It's a tad bit on. I'm going to actually leave, leave this one here. Okay, I'm really glad that I uh, was able to see that, see what I needed to do. Because sometimes you just you just don't know. I'll put that there. So a lot of times and a lot of times it depends on what it is too but yeah so anywho that pre-trip there was a little intense <laughs> so we um we gotta get going down the road we're like we're not real far from where we gotta pick up here um we gotta go to hawkinsville georgia and uh anywho Get that charge in there um and then from there we got to go back to like columbia area and then from there we're going to greenville south carolina so we got we got a busy schedule today we gotta we gotta put on our thinking cat which in my case is my sunglasses and we go we're gonna get going down the road wanna bang shazoom let's go let's go Let's do this! Alright, so we have the microphone on now. Uh, this is my first video now doing it with the microphone. So, uh, do let me know if this is better for y'all. Because um, I know before the microphone on my end, I was able to hear myself. I felt like it was good. Um, but I know some of y'all have brought it to my attention that uh, basically that the speaking audio stuff part or speaking parts of my videos were not weren't that great so anyway but yeah let me let me know how this works for y'all you know if this is better because if so i'll uh, i'll keep this microphone handy and um we'll use it more often so 
uh, there was a second microphone that I was looking at that mounts directly on my camera and I, I almost I started to get that but then I was like eh, I don't know it's, it's kind of it's bulky and I just I don't know I figured I figured well we'll, we'll try it with something small first and then you know because this I'm supposed to be able to walk around I don't know like 30 40 feet or something away from the camera it should still be able to hear me pretty good so but uh but yeah well i'll probably test out a couple of other um accessories and stuff for my camera Ooh, excuse me kind of go from there all right guys we have made it i think this is recording with the microphone i don't know i'll blurt it i blurt it i blurt it so song came to mind this morning I was just like uh it's a rock song I've heard on the radio and I was just like what is the name of that song <laughs> and uh anyway apparently it's sung by a band called the five man the five man band it's like a 60s or 70s rock band I think anywho if I heard a song and, and one of their songs and it was like it was called signs <laughs> I was sitting there thinking coming into this customer <laughs> there's nothing nothing but signs everywhere about you know can't can't come down this street because you know you got more than six axles and no through trucks and da 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 and uh anyways I was just like Sun, sun, everywhere is sun. And I don't, I, I gotta go learn the lyrics. But anyway, I was like, yeah, don't do this, don't do that. Can you read the signs? And I'm butchering it. I know, I know, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. So, anyway, I'm gonna test out this microphone again. I'll be back. So I gotta go open up my trailer doors. These folks here are waiting on me. So, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get out. So I got to unhook my air hose. That's what this customer, that's their little policy. And I, I get it. I totally get it. I don't have a problem with that. So all about the safety, all about the safety. So, but anywho, yeah, this customer here, they know how to load a trailer. So shouldn't take too long. Might not be far enough over. There we go. Wow. So yeah, yeah. We have to, can y'all, can y'all see? <laughs> can you see me now? <laughs> um, when they get done loading too, we're gonna have to hit up a truck stop and get some fuel because um, it's that time again, it's that time. We gotta go get some fuel. So, anywho, but yeah. Um, Let's get out and let's see. Oh, let me get that air hose too real quick. I'll be right back. Hey, hey. hey good morning. <laughs> morning. I almost forgot. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I gotta take all that off. <laughs> all right. I'll bring it up. All right. Crappy little little thing. Is this would that would that be better, you know? All right, we'll just situate that right there. How about that? So let's go um go check these hubs again because we've driven a few short miles and then um if we need to we'll add some more. So let's uh let's grab our let's grab our hub oil here. By the way, super organized, can't you tell? So great. <laughs> Thank you. Daddy. We will add some oil. Ugh. Let's see. That one there. Uh, let, me get, let me get the flashlight real quick. And double check. It looks like it's full on that first one. So let me, uh, let me grab my flashlight here. Just double check. I don't know if it's a situation you add too much oil, you can bust a seal or something in there. Maybe that's a that might be a thing. 
unknown mechanic, that's for sure. Absolutely no no mechanic. But um let's see here. Oh buddy buddy buddy. Alright. Oh, yeah, okay. That looks like that's plenty. And that one. I'm gonna check this all day just to make sure because I don't I've never done this before, so this is this one definitely needs some more. We're gonna add add some more on that. Lefty Lucy ratty tidy, right? Yep. Oops. I think you guys can see. Oh, I might have to turn. Oh shoot. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> That's fixing to be a bad situation. I need the hubcap cover. <laughs> there we go. I'll come, I'll come right there. How about that? Alright, yeah. This one is definitely low. Thank God. The tire rolled back in the upwards position here so that I can add this stupid stuff. I feel like an expert now. I am an expert. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not an expert. <laughs> now, if your crap starts leaking, like you, like you've got more problems than just a little oil, don't call me because I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't know a thing. I think this one might have been the worst one out of all of them. That was really low. I could use a little bit more. That's not quite. Quite that much in there. I'd rather add a little bit at a time. And not have enough because <laughs> you can always add more but if you add too much yeah there we go okay that's much better all right so we'll put this little bolt here back on try to keep that clean just like anything with oil you want to keep with whatever you're working with clean because well I mean, it's for obvious reasons <laughs> Oh, yeah. Phew. Tighten that back down. All right. And like I said, at the end of the day, I'll check this again. There we go. All right. Phew. Finally got it loose. Right there. Hopefully. Hopefully. I wonder if they make an adapter um, that you can put on the end of these hubs, I guess. Like a threaded adapter. And then you can hold the bottle kind of up out here upright position and then add I don't know it might be a jeez that was a little that was a little attempt just a little bit alright let's check that I'll let that kind of settle there for a little bit Yeah, I need some more. I'm so, so thankful I was able to figure this out. Because, like I said, I for real did not want to call my boss and be that driver. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. 
try! I really tried. Try to get the crap out here. I meant to cut the tip of this thing here so that this stuff would flow out a little faster. Glad I chopped my wheels on the other side. I think we're getting poached today. I'm not entirely sure. I think I might want to get pulled up here. I might add some more to this one here behind me. I kind of want to fill it up now. That's better. Get that threaded back on. That's a lot better than what it was because before I wasn't even seeing that much on the hour, the uh, hourglass, the side glass. Once I get going down the road, this will, that level it was at now will probably change. It'll probably work itself through the. I don't really know, actually. <laughs> I figured that that level there will probably. I can at least see it now. It's between, at the moment, between the full and the ad line, so it's a lot better than what it was, because before I wasn't even seeing that much. It was bad. It was really bad. This one I can't even add right now because. Ah, but it's got a little bit of oil in there. Not much. But that one, that one, I think, was the worst one I had. So, anyhow. Let's get something to eat, because I didn't get finished my breakfast this morning. <laughs> so, I'm a handy person. I learned and learned stuff. I'm learning. It's all good. Anyhow, so that's that. If you didn't know, now you know. And if I did it wrong, let me know that, too. And, um, if there's a better way to do it, let me know that, too. And, uh. If you guys, uh, I think the camera recorded this. I'm just probably going to repeat some stuff over and over just to kind of, because like this morning I got out and I was like doing a little bit more thorough um, filming of like how, what I was doing this morning with the hubs and trying to figure all that out, troubleshoot it and yada, yada, yada. And anyway, it didn't record, so I had to re-record. And I was trying to like, I got to go, I got to get going down the road. We got a goal. <laughs> so, anywho, um, so I'm sorry if this video is a bunch of repeats. I'm just trying to make sure that what I'm saying is actually getting recorded. <laughs> so, anywho, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. So, we'll just wait on these guys get done. Probably have to, we might have to strap down the load. I'm not sure. I think the last time I picked up from here, it was a bunch of totes, so I really, like, I didn't have to strap it because the trailer was full, and the joker was heavy, so there's like, no, it wasn't going anywhere, <laughs> so we're good. Like that. truckers <laughs> we can do that we're super truckers
I'm kind of wishing I'd come in on the other way, the other driveway. <laughs> this is good night. Wow. Greater USA. Jeez. Holy moly. We have uh, put some fuel in here. Um, only got like half, not quite half a tank. So, anywho, gonna pump a hundred dollars at a time, and I was just like, eh, bump that. <laughs> so, anywho, I think it's probably uh, um, because of the name of this place. This isn't one of the uh, major chains, so I don't know. I don't know, but I needed fuel bad. I was like, just under a quarter tank. I was like, no. Or right, I'm sorry, right at a quarter tank. I was like, ah, we got, we got a little ways where we can get to a big chain truck stop. So I just assumed not run out of fuel. <laughs> so um, I did come across a flyer. Uh, it's called, it's from a, an app called Mudflap. Um, let me stop here. This, this is what I'm talking about. Um, anywho, it's supposed to be a network that help you find fuel cheaper for, like, owner operators and, like, it says, <coughs> excuse me, owner operators and small fleets. So, if you're an owner operator and you've already used that, uh, let me know, you know, or... If you're another company, whoa, um, and you you know you've used that, you got experience. Wait, let me know. Is it is it any good? Is it worth the money? You know, does it save you a lot? If so, let everybody here on this channel know. We want to know. We want to know. So. <laughs> You just gotta love traffic. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting here and I'm just like feet bopping along and then BAM! <laughs> it's like, sorry, don't mind me. We have to stop at the traffic because we got a little bit of the road construction. Hello! <laughs> so, anywho, that's where we're at. We're up here on I-20. 
and we out here just chilling, you know? So, anywho, um, not that this is relevant to this video, but I figured, well, heck, you know, I ain't got nothing else better to do, might as well share something, you know? I have bought some fertilizer for my horse's uh, pasture, and I bought some rinky-dink little seed thrower, you know, that you have to walk behind and you know, so anywho, I'm going to bring the subdivision to the country and I'm going to go out there and fertilize a good portion of a field that should actually be done by a tractor. But, you know, I just ain't that fancy, okay? I mean, I just, you know, get a little pep in my step, you know, got to get a little exercise, you know, it never hurt no one. And, um, anywho, oh, left lane closed half a mile. See, I, it's like I knew. It's almost like I knew. I, I felt, I felt like the right lane was calling my name, okay? It's like, look at me. <laughs> But, um, but no, for real, we've got, now that we've gotten, what was it, three horses, possibly a fourth one on the way via pregnancy, um, yeah, kind of need to give my field a little extra help, you know. Uh, I was reading the other day on the internet, and it was talking about how wonderful wood ash is, or potash, as some people call it, and I was like, you know, you know, when I get my uh, bonfire pit, you know, built, uh, I'm going to save the ashes from it and uh, spread that out there because apparently it's a natural uh, I took it as it was a natural liming agent so I was just like huh that's interesting so anywho the uh, the pioneers are just so much smarter than uh, than you know us people today because um, they just you know they just knew how to do all this kind of crap it was like you know normal <laughs> Nowadays, it's like if you find under me, like, whoa, you're a nerd. Like, no, this is just getting back to our roots. <laughs> so, anywho. But, um, yeah, I would love to do 45 miles an hour, but currently doing about 10. So, it's okay, you know? Y'all can smash the gas pedal. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> All right, guys, we have made it to our destination. So, I'm going to go in here real quick. i got to jump on the scale. And, uh... Oh. You getting on the scale? You getting on the scale? No. Okay. Alright. <laughs> so, anywho. Um, what we got on time? Oh! We got plenty of time plenty of time. I was actually in the middle before we got here, in the middle of listening to Kelly Clarkson's latest album um, called Chemistry. Chick got some things to say. Sorry to say. Chick got some things to say. And you know what? Honestly, her talk show, not too bad. I've watched a couple episodes here and there. Um, but the chick can sing. I mean, she's like, she got a lot of of talent okay I don't know how much of this album was written by her or if it was because so far I think I've only listened to like two or three songs and it's she's written it and then had like co-writers so anyways whatever there's there's a there's a talent to being able to actually write songs and stuff um, especially like by yourself I know a lot of people make a big to do about Taylor Swift writing her songs but the chick, she's got co-writers too. So, but a lot of her stuff is written by her. But she she does a lot of collaborations too. So, anywho, but yeah, I have um, I personally don't have that talent. So, but I can sing anything. If it comes on the radio, I can sing it. Okay, as long as the words are clear enough for me to understand, I can blend in and I sound just like the artist. So, how's that for tidbit of information? Anywho, let's uh, let's get our ourselves out. Let's go get this trailer door situated, and I'm gonna try to take you guys with me, and we can go we can go look oh, and make sure the other truckers don't run me over. Wow, you can do it. We can help. Oh my word. Woo! Now don't go nowhere. I gotta redo my strap. I gotta pick that one. I didn't know that one was sitting. Darn it. No, the hook was sitting on the wall. Oh well. 
Oh, well. Holy moly. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. Leave it flat. All right, good deal. Somebody's saying hey. I don't know who's saying hey. Oh, he's on the other guy. <laughs> he's saying, I know you ain't saying it to me. <laughs> ain't done nothing. <laughs> ain't done a thing. Not a thing. Nothing. So, anywho, yeah, anybody want to go kayaking? You know, we got a little bit of water out here today. You know, get out here and get a little, get a little practice. It's a tad bit muddy out here. So now we just wait on the fella, the forklift guy, to come on by. I don't know where he went. He's usually right here on the side waiting on me. Anywho, oh shoot. Anywho, um, don't have any straps in this way, so. Woo! Hey, hey! I know, man. I know. Well, see that one. Uh, well, I think what's her name, Holly? There, no, Yuli. Yeah, she. Uh, she was thinking that was coming tomorrow, and that I was bringing her stuff from Greenville today. I said, "Well, I don't know." I said, "But what I got is the reverse of that." So I don't, you know. I think tomorrow is supposed. To, um, I think the one from Greenville is going to be lighter. So, but I don't know if that was coming here or what. Might be two different Greenvilles. Two, what, two truckers and two, you know, picking up, I don't know. <laughs> Backstories is I brought him a really light load yesterday, like a whole seven pallets. And I think maybe one tote. <laughs> He's like, I told him, I said, I don't know. I said, that's all they put on the trailer. <laughs> I said, it's two stops. I was like, super light. But anywho, I was just like, still pays the same, so. Whether they use the full trailer or not is, you know, whatever. So about the size of a uh, pencil, the eraser on the end of a pencil, maybe a little bit fatter. And uh, yeah, so let's um, I'm going to move the trailer forward a little bit because um, this was down facing down, so. Anywho, get that. Let me get my gloves. Oops. A really good post trip, too, today. Ah! Oh, well, I say that. I gotta go clean that now. Nice. Really nice. We'll just leave that there. Oh. Other glove on. There we go. That's better now. All right. Oh, lefty loosey, righty tighty. I'll remember one day. Good thing I know I went through some mud, otherwise, I'd be concerned about all this. Dark stuff on my rim. Like, why is it so dark? And I'll, knowing me, I'll get up tomorrow morning and check this and make sure it's good again, just one more time. Because I don't think, I don't think you can overcheck something too much. So, yeah, I think that's 
That's plenty. Like I said, some of these were really, really, really low. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I'll get up tomorrow. It's nice and dark. Be out here with my flashlight. And just double check all this one more time. And then, oh shoot, I was about to say, where's my cap? And then I'll feel better about all this. So yeah, tip of the week. Do a good pre-trip and do a good post-trip. You might learn something. So, and whatever you don't know, ask somebody. I'm sure there'll be somebody out there that'll be like, yeah, this is how you do that. <laughs> Whew. But yeah, this is, this is good. And always, always have an extra jug of motor oil like on the truck with you because when you're doing your pre-trip you just never know you know you just never know it's better to have that kind of stuff and like your power steering fluid um hub oil um because you just never know you know if you're out there and you're really doing your pre-trips you, you'll have your supplies and yeah so you won't uh you won't damage your stuff and damage your truck and all that kind of stuff so uh, I'm by no means perfect, you know, but there is there is value in doing a pre-trip. Um, there's value in doing a post-trip. So tomorrow morning, when I get going, that'll be, should be one less thing I have to check, but I'm going to check it anyways because I just added new um, oil to it. So I just want to make sure that that really is, like, good to go. Um, and then, yeah, I think... I think that's it for this week. It has been really, really busy um, this week. And I'm, like, in three different places all at one time. <laughs> you know how that is. So, um, but yeah, I, it, the sun is fixing the set. I'm done working for today. And I'm, I'm mentally, I am gone. Like, I'm here, there, and gone. I'm, I'm gone. But, um, but yeah. Alright guys, well that's it for this week. Thank you so very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Mwah!